Hello Pisces, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your Love and Life reading for the second half of February from the 16th through the 29th. Thank you guys so much for being here and for tuning in. So this is a general reading as always Pisces, it will not resonate with every single person. So please do take from it whatever makes sense for you and release the rest. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And I will also have a list of all of the card decks that are used for the reading. So Pisces, what I have in front of me are the three card decks that I will be using this time around for your focus messages to start off this reading. So let's take a look and see what needs to come through here. So what I've got in front of me is the Pining Rose Volume 2 Twin Flame Ascension deck by Calico Moon. Then we'll grab a message from the Infinity Oracle by Fire Witch Tarot and then grab an additional message from the Whispers of Healing deck. So let me set these guys aside and let's start off with the Pining Rose deck. And you don't, of course, have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. That's just the name of the card deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Pisces, as well as cross watchers, anybody else who's been guided to tune in to this reading. Let's take a look and see what it is that you need to focus on for the second half of the month. All right, I'm guided to this one right here. Childhood. Okay, so childhood memories, childhood experiences, whether it is good or bad, it's being reflected here in this reading. Okay, so let's take a look and see how that plays a part in this particular reading. Let's grab one more. Off course. Okay, so there's something that's off track, off course when it comes to your life at this time, your relationship, it might be tied in again to your childhood your upbringing, your background, and let's see how that plays itself out for this reading here. Let's add some additional guidance from the Infinity Oracle to add to that. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Pisces for the second half of February. In love and life, what else do you need to focus on, Pisces, at this time? What else do you need to focus on? Guided to this one here. I kiss but don't tell. Secrets. So that might have something to do with why you and your person are off course due to those secrets and lies. Okay. I'm guided to pull one more. Strength. So tap into your strength for the second half of the month, Pisces. Okay, let's see what else. Let's grab one more focus message, a healing message from the Whispers of Healing. Additional focus message, please, for Pisces for this Love and Life reading. Angels and Spirit Guides for the second half of February. All right, let's see what your final focus message is for this reading, Pisces. All right, I'm guided to this one here. Intention. So for me, this is very much in tune with the law of attraction, what it is that you intend to happen, whatever it is that you are focused on. If you are coming from a place of positive energies, then that's what you're putting out there. That's what you can attract back to you. If you're coming from negative energy and those intentions are intertwined into that negative energy, that's what you have the capability of manifesting back to you. So make sure your intentions are coming from a good place, that your intentions are good. And also, this could be what other people that you're involved with or thinking about for this reading, what their intentions are towards you. And if it's off track, if it's got anything to do with secrets, it might be a really good time for you to be focused on what's keeping your strength up at this time, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of it. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see what else needs to come forward here. So let's start off with the Pining Rose Love Oracle deck. Again, by Calico Moon. Definitely check out her channel if you're interested in purchasing any of her decks. I absolutely love them. 
angels and spirit guides please for pisces what else do we need to know for this love and life reading for the second half of february all right and for those i forgot to mention those who will be celebrating birthdays a very happy birthday pisces i hope it is one of the best ever of your life all right guys let's see Let's see what needs to come forward here for this reading for you, Pisces. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Pisces. Look at that. Commitment phobia. Somebody who is afraid to commit to you, Pisces. And for some of you guys, this could actually be you that is afraid to commit to somebody. And it might be tied into third-party situations for some of you guys. Especially if you're dealing with somebody that's not ready to commit to you. So they're kind of wishy-washy. They're in and out of relationships. They're talking to other people. You know, that whole kiss and tell vibe. Keeping secrets. Being deceptive. Um, kind of keeping you off to the side. That's certainly not what you're looking for here. Let's see what else. We've got Awakening coming through next. So we've got... A male figure in that photo of commitment phobia female figure in the awakening card so it could be my divine feminines who are waking up to what's going on here perhaps if you happen to be divine feminine you didn't know what was going on you didn't you maybe had your suspicions about secrets that were being kept and that's what's keeping your relationship off course it's just not going the way you're wanting something's off kilter here however look at these next cards We've got You Are My Light, and then it's followed by Rekindle, but interestingly enough, look at the next card. We've got Lies. So whoever it is that's coming through with these lies and secrets, that's what's preventing the two of you from coming together and rekindling this relationship because it's intertwined with these secrets and lies somebody being dishonest because we now have the reunion card coming right after that what's keeping this reunion from happening are these lies plain and simple it's right in the middle of rekindle and reunion we now have our song as you can see that looks like a wedding band right there there might be a particular song that you think about Pisces when it comes to this connection and or this is your person that remembers you when they hear a song. Could be my divine masculines. Again, commitment phobia. Putting that ring down. Unable to commit right now. We do have phone call. Coming through here, somebody wants to reach out or is waiting for that phone call it could be my divine feminine this is coming through as a faded connection despite the lies despite the secrets look at this we have patience some of you may have connected in a past life and we still have this card coming through still pining it could be you that is in this energy, Pisces. If you're still pining for somebody and you want them back, you want that reunion. But what's keeping you guys in separation is all of this deceptive energy that's going on, whether you are aware of this or not. And this could also be reversed. So take it for how it resonates with you. There is a need for patience here when it comes to this rekindle energy. This is going to take time. If you guys are truly faded and if you belong together, this is going to take some time for this to come to fruition in the 3D. Perhaps this light is guiding the two of you back to each other, but again, it's, it's going to take some time for this to happen. Let's add to this with some Mystic Moon Oracles. Angels, dear Lord, and spirit guides, please, for Pisces. For the second half of February 16th through the 29th, in love and in life. 
And for those of you guys who may have experienced something traumatic growing up, or if you just didn't have a good example of a good relationship through your parents um, or in your family, perhaps this is something that you are carrying forward as an adult. And that's tied into that commitment phobia. It's tied into the lies. It's tied into keeping secrets. It's tied into third party situations and infidelity, all of it. Somebody who is unable to be faithful or remain faithful. And there are those of you who as well could have been married and you're having issues in your relationship. What else, please, angels? Yeah, see, abandoned. It's falling right below commitment phobia and our song with that wedding band right there. I feel here it's my divine masculines who abandoned this relationship. And part of the reason why it was abandoned could be due to a karmic partnership, a third party situation. We have fear coming through next. There is a male figure in that photo. So for me, that could certainly be divine masculine energy. But it could be for anybody. So take it for again, how it resonates with you. Could be that somebody is just afraid to accept the illumination energy of this card. You are my light. Maybe somebody's just afraid to admit that. Could be your person, Pisces. You know, if they finally come to this realization that you are the one that they are meant to be with, but they're not ready to commit, could be due to fear. And again, it could be for some of my Pisces who are afraid to commit. We have fall, which can, of course, represents the fall season. If something of significance happened between the two of you during the fall season, or this could indicate a relationship that fell apart. And so it's going to take time with this patience card. Again, it's got the rekindle card at the very top. So right between the rekindle card and reunion are these lies. But a part of what's keeping you guys drawn to each other is that you knew each other in a past life. You reconnected in this lifetime to finish what you started in a past life, possibly. Look at this. We've got soulmate coming through. This could be a soulmate connection between the two of you. We've got the muse card right after that. And it's so interesting the energies from both of these cards, it's its um, kind of very shimmery in nature there. And with that Muse card, it's somebody who has the capability of creating a different outcome, painting a different future, a happy ending for themselves. So whether this is you, Pisces, whether it is your person or both of you, you both can actually turn this around. And then we've got return right after that. Followed by mask. So we've got more lies and deceit, more secrets. And then we've got the divine masculine. So that's what I'm feeling here, that it is my divine masculines who are being deceptive or were, were keeping secrets and lies. That could be past tense, possibly learning lessons since then. And maybe that's why we've got so many references to wanting a return, you know, return, rekindle, reunion. That's a lot of cards here talking about the same thing, basically wanting to come back. So whoever it is that is wanting to come back, they definitely want that message communicated here. And I feel it's my divine masculines who want the divine feminine back. No doubt about it. Too many references to ignore here and too many references as well to dishonest behavior. And I feel that's why it's going to require some time, especially because of hurt feelings, betrayals, 
broken hearts, hurt feelings, however way that is still being represented in your relationship, Pisces. All right, so let's add to this with some tarot. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come through here. This is a brand new deck for me. It is called, hold on one second, it's called Bougie by Sal Biadora. If you guys follow his channel, I believe it's Eat, Read, Eat, Read, Love, if I'm not mistaken. So this is one of the card decks that he created. I absolutely love it. So let's take a look and see, Pisces, what else needs to come through here in love and life for the second half of February. So your person and or you, somebody definitely wants to reconcile here. But you guys have to be on the same page in order to make that happen. And I feel it's going to take time. Angels and spirit guides, what else do we need to know? We have the Page of Wands coming through here. So we've got fire energy being represented in this reading so far. So fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The Page of Wands is ready to deliver a message in your direction, Pisces. And it's coming forward with very enthusiastic good news. So falling right below commitment phobia and our song, your person might be ready to commit to you or you might be ready to commit to your person, however way that's represented. They are delivering a message to whoever needs it here. We have the King of Cups right after that. So we've got your own energy through the King of Cups. That is water. That includes Cancer and Scorpio as well, Pisces. This King is very emotionally balanced. This is somebody... This is a king that is very much in tune with their feelings. They know what they want. They are acknowledging those emotions and feelings now. And maybe they weren't before, especially if it's the divine masculine that's coming through with that energy. We have the nine of swords, which is air. So for some of you guys, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, that nine of swords is tapped into depression, anxiety, that feeling of despair. And I feel for some of you guys, this is what you're going through, especially if you found out that your partner was cheating on you, if there were third parties and karmics involved in their life, and maybe you just found out about this, and that's what brought you guys off track in your relationship. That's where that off course energy is tied into and right next to that we've got the eight of swords so air energy once again that eight of swords is isolation and imprisonment and that's going to contribute to why patience is required here Pisces because it's going to take time for this healing to happen you've got the nine of coins which is the nine of pentacles so we have earth coming through as well virgo capricorn taurus and this nine of pentacles is all about being grateful for what you have and maybe your person didn't realize what they had until they lost it and again this could all be reversed guys so take it for how it makes sense for you The Nine of Pentacles is all also tapped into reckless spending. So somebody might be spending a little bit too much. That could be your person, Pisces. And then we've got the Eight of Coins right after that. So we've got Nine, Eight, Nine, Eight coming through. That could be of significance for some of you guys. Nine could certainly be indicative of September. Eights could be August, so perhaps those months could be significant to some of you guys. And the number nine, the number eight could be of significance for some of you. The eight of pentacles is tied into education for some of you. So if you're in school right now, if that's something that you are pursuing at this time, that's a good thing. That's actually very positive energies for your future Pisces 
So stay on course, okay? If that's a part of what is off course, perhaps it's time for you to get back on track, especially tied into your education. That's for some of you. And the Eight of Pentacles, it's tapping into your passion, what it is that you are passionate about or who it is that you are passionate about. And it could certainly be an earth sign who is totally obsessed and focused on you, Pisces. Okay, so let's move on to some romance angels. Let's see what else needs to come through here. Let me set these guys aside so I have a little bit more room. But clearly somebody wants to come back. Okay. Somebody wants to reach out. Somebody wants to communicate here. Angels and spirit guides for Pisces, please. In love and romance for the second half of February. What else do we need to know, please? We already know you guys are going through a bit of a rough patch here with the secrets and lies. And more than likely in separation, more than likely you guys are not talking. Arguments, disagreements. Look at this, unrequited love, damn. Somebody had a change of heart here. Could be you, Pisces. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So what I'm feeling here for some of you is that the person who was bad at commitment, they took too damn long to make their decision and the person that was just waiting ended up falling out of love with this person. However way that's making sense for you, Pisces. Where there was a lot of attraction and chemistry at one point, that fizzled because somebody just took too long is what I'm feeling here for some of you. Love yourself first. Very important. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You know, if you can't get the love that you're looking for in a particular person that you're focused on for this reading, Pisces, you got to start with yourself. You got to offer that love to yourself first in order to extend that love beyond yourself. We have religious factors coming through here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Interesting, again, you know, going back to that childhood card, how you were brought up, if religion was a huge part of your childhood, and maybe you guys just don't see eye to eye when it comes to that. There's a division there between you and your person for some of you. And for those of you relating to this message too, if you're one to turn to prayer during times of challenge, or when there's a bunch of obstacles that you're trying to get through, or if you're just carrying burdens on your shoulders, and if it's just overwhelming, you know, tap into your faith. But yes, look at this. We've got a separation that is reflected here. You guys are definitely not together, not communicating, not seeing eye to eye right now. But there is somebody coming forward with the energy that they want to rekindle the romance. They want a reunion. They want to return. And I'm feeling that that's falling on my divine masculines here who are wanting that. And look at this. We've got this could be the one. Yeah, because this is fate. This is destiny here in this connection. But, you know, both people have to come to that realization. It can't just be one person wanting this to happen. It has to be both of you. And we've got make the effort right after that. For me, it falls in this reading for the divine masculine to create that movement, to make the effort, to be able to offer commitment, get rid of the lies, get rid of the secrets, and really be able to commit and dedicate their energy and time towards this relationship. So it's not impossible. There is a chance to salvage this if two people are wanting that. But, you know, again, it takes two people. One person can't save this if the other person does not want to commit. Okay, so let's add to this with some Lover's Oracle. Pisces, let's see what else needs to come through here. We'll grab 
as I've done for other readings, we'll grab a few from this deck, whichever one you happen to resonate with. So focus on your person, Pisces. Let's take a look and see what needs to come through at this time for the second half of February. Angels and spirit guides, please bring it forward. I'm guided to the bottom deck and this one as well. Okay. What do we have? Interesting. Okay, let's start with this one, Pisces. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay, so what I'm feeling from this in this particular reading for some of you is that you may have lost a loved one. For some of you guys, you were married to this person and perhaps that's why you're now coming through that you're afraid of commitment because you were already committed to the one that you feel was meant for you. Next message, surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Let go of the lies. Let go of the deceit. Let go of the secrets. Surrender any negative energy tied into this connection. Surrender karmic. Surrender third parties. Let all of that go. And if it's meant to come back together, which I feel it is, okay, it's, it's faded. There's a good chance you guys can ultimately work this out. We also have freedom coming through here, Pisces. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay? It's clear to come back towards each other. It's clear for you to go out there on your own and find love elsewhere and just create a new direction for yourself. Again, you've got power over this muse card. Paint whatever outcome you are wanting in your life and in your love life. The ball is in your court here, okay? Next message. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So there we are again with having to let go. Let go of that resentment, whoever is resonating with that. We also have reflection coming through. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Especially those of you guys who had trust issues in the relationship. Understandably so if you are dealing with infidelity and cheating, lies and secrets. You have to come to a place where you can trust and have faith in your partner and in your relationship. We also have power coming through. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Absolutely. That is your choice. That is your prerogative, Pisces. You don't have to stay where you're not wanted. You don't have to stay where you don't want to be. You don't have to stay where you're unfulfilled. Okay. And last one, we have look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Whatever it is that you're feeling, ultimately you're going to have to reevaluate how you're feeling inside. What's going through in your heart to make you feel a particular way towards a person that you're focused on for this reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some divine love and separation cards, especially for those who are willing to accept this person back. We do have quite a few references to reconciliations here. Rekindle, reunion, return. So for those of you who are in separation and you resonate with that, let's go ahead and pull some dialogue messages. This could either be what you're wanting to say to your, your person, Pisces, or what it is that they want to say to you. Take from these messages whatever makes sense whichever one you are guided towards. So again, we'll grab a few from here. Please bring it forward, angels, for Pisces. Let me grab the bottom card here. Okay. Let's see what came through here, Pisces. We have a few.
Okay. Let's start with this one. I'm becoming suspicious of our separation. You know, so there's still mistrust and distrust here in this relationship for some of you guys, and that's understandable considering there were a lot of lies and secrets that were kept here. So these suspicions don't surprise me, especially if you guys are not together. They're really wondering, you know, what's going on? Are you still being shady? Are you still connecting or talking to other people? There's a lot of what-if thoughts intertwined with that. Next message. The longer time passes, the more I start to doubt. Exactly. So these two cards are very much tied in together. Because the trust has been broken. It's going to take time to restore that, plain and simple. Next message. Oh my god, you guys. Again, returning. Don't be upset with me. I'm coming back. Okay, that's a fourth reference. They'll be back. and Or you'll be back. Somebody's going to be back here. <laughs> They're not going to be gone for long. Okay, now the question is, hopefully, whoever is returning will be welcomed back into that person's life. Next message. I'm in my feels about ignoring you. Interesting. So that's coming through for some of you guys. Next message. Spiritual. My spirituality helps me see the bright side of this separation. Okay, so that's very much tied into this religious factors card. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Very much connected with that message. Next one. As time goes by, I wonder if you actually existed. So for some of you guys, especially who have been in separation for a very long time, maybe this person is losing faith that things will ever work out or that if this relationship actually happened, it might all be in their head. So a lot of, um, again, what if thoughts going on through this person's head and their heart space. Especially, again, if you guys have been apart for a good chunk of time. And last one. I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. I am not surprised. They definitely want to reach out and talk. So I would not be surprised, Pisces, if your phone starts blowing up with messages and texts emails from this person because they definitely want to reconnect they are coming back they're telling you returning don't be upset with me i'm coming back whether you like it or not i'm coming back unbelievable all right guys so let's grab some additional insight let's see this is not necessarily tied into your love life but let's take a look for the life portion of this reading. What the angels feel you would benefit from at this time. So this is additional messages from the angels. Angels and spirit guides for Pisces, please. Second half of February. What life messages need to be communicated at this time for Pisces? We've got Angel Maya. Again, those of you guys wanting to stay in school or go to school, we've got Mystique coming through. Let's grab a couple more. We've got Yvonne. And we have Bethany. And I'm guided to pull this bottom of the deck as well. All right. Let's start with this one. Okay, schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time the angels will guide you and help you with this process okay so very much tied in to that eight of pentacles so for those of you again who are wanting to pursue higher education it's definitely being reflected here angel maya is here to bless that endeavor we have mystique keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. 
you know, especially those of you who aren't quite sure if you want to welcome this person back into your life or if your person is feeling that way. You guys have been through something painful, traumatic, tied into these secrets and lies. But whoever is coming back, again, they're charging ahead and they don't want to take no for an answer. They want to come back. And so this is coming through. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So they're just wanting to really think positive that hopefully they will be welcomed back into the other person's life. We also have Yvonne coming through. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. So for those of you who have a special connection with pets, with animals, perhaps that's what you do for a living. Some of you guys may have lost a pet. Um, I myself absolutely love my pets and so I'm very close to them and they hold a very special place in my heart. So for those of you who are able to resonate with that, it's coming through here, especially for those of you who have lost a pet and they're up in heaven. Their energies are coming through here. All right. We also have Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. So my divine feminines, this is a time for you to nurture yourself, to take care of yourself. And actually, this could apply to anybody, not just women, you know, anybody. It's time to nurture not only your body, treat yourself, relax, just uh, take a break from the busy day to day. You know, we all definitely need that. Okay, so that's coming forward. We also have Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. So for those of you who resonate with that, perhaps you are a spiritual teacher. Angel Akasha is here to let you know that it's recognizing that gift within you and you absolutely have the ability to help others in your life. Beautiful. All right, guys, so let's close this out with some final guardian angel messages here for you, Pisces. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Pisces for the second half of February. In love and life, some final thoughts, please, for Pisces. We have a prayer. We have encouragement and the bottom card is a second prayer. We will take it. Okay, so first prayer, Pisces. Dear guardian angel, to you I pray. When I'm fearful, help me remember that only love is real. When I'm lost, help me find my way. When I'm confused, help me to regain clarity. When I feel lonely, help me feel your loving presence. Where I perceive chaos, Help me to see the order. Thank you. And I feel some of you guys really needed this prayer at this time. It's coming through here for you. You also have encouragement. Your love is invaluable to the earth and to those around you. Even though you may not always see the positive effect your love has on others. Trust, for it does. Each time you offer love, through a loving gesture, thought, or word, you plant a seed of love, and love always generates more love. Trust and continue your loving work. So these are words of encouragement, especially for those who are trying to win a person's heart again, wanting to rekindle the relationship, create reunion or reconciliation. You know, sometimes when we're trying to get back into a person's life, get back into the, their good graces, that's not the easiest thing to do all the time. But if you're coming from a place of love and honesty without these lies and secrets, that just might open up the way for you guys to come back into each other's lives. That's certainly a potential coming through here. Okay. And we end this reading Pisces with a second prayer that the angels felt you needed to hear at this time. Dear guardian angel, help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs. Help me not to fear the transient nature of life. 
Help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light which emanates from the heart of every living thing. Help me to remember that I am eternally guided and loved by God and all creation. What a beautiful prayer. And I just found it so interesting how it said the heart of every living thing. And then we've got this very special message that came through regarding pets for this reading. Okay, guys. So for those of you able to resonate with that prayer, it's coming through. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you this time around. I hope whatever part of it resonated with you. I do hope that it offered you the guidance that you needed at this time for the second half of February. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box. And I will be back real soon with additional readings for you, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Take care.